All right. Now that the kitchen is all cleaned again, uh, we're going to get started on this peach cobbler. I have the meat mixture for the shepherd's pie simmering on the stove. I'm going to let it simmer maybe about an hour um, total. So it's already been on there for a while while I was cleaning and getting the dough finished. Um, we'll let it go a little bit longer and then taste it for seasoning. Um, before we start in on the mashed potatoes. Um, and, uh, yeah, let's start getting our ingredients out for the cobbler. So I had never made this cobbler recipe before. So I did first read through to see everything that I needed. It specifically called for a glass pan. So I dug into the deep recesses of my cabinets to pull one out. Um, I think I put almost a whole stick of butter in that pan um, and melted it in there in the oven um, as the first step. I'll be sure to link the recipe down below because I do not remember all of the quantities of things that went in here. I know that I did substitute uh, white sugar for brown sugar because I had no white sugar left in my pantry and it is still pantry challenge week for me. Um, so I did that and I also added um, some more seasonings than it called for. The recipe didn't call for any seasonings in this batter, but um, I wanted to put cinnamon, nutmeg, clove um, in there. So that's what I did. Um, and um, I, it also didn't say to sift it. I feel like I, I didn't uh, obey the instructions a lot. But I didn't want any clumps of, you know, baking uh, powder or any clumps of brown sugar to be in there since it was supposed to be, you know, um, a smooth mixture. Now, um, one thing I will say is this came together super fast. Um, I used peach halves because that's what I had. Um, so I just went ahead and chopped them up here um, for to get those nice slices. Um, I also didn't use all of the liquid from all of these cans. I felt that it was just a little too much, so I drained one off. Um, and just keep chopping them up here. I also did take a <laughs> little uh, quick dance break, I think, here in just a second for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles theme song because my kids are obsessed. Um, so <laughs> you got to have fun in the kitchen. Um, there we go. <laughs> So, anywho, once the, you know, I added the milk to this batter, we were ready to rock and roll. So, the batter poured over the butter. I evened that out um, just so that it was sort of evenly layered throughout the butter. Um, and then spooned the uh, peaches and their canned juice um, on top of the mixture. And then this whole thing went into the oven um, and baked up in probably less than half an hour. Okay, it's almost time for the cobbler to come out and we're gonna put that uh, shepherd's pie in. And I am so, so, so excited to see how this turned out. Oh my gosh, it's bubbling. This smells incredible. All those spices really, really made something special with the peaches. All right. I'm gonna wait. But I really want to dig in because that looks phenomenal. 